I'm Kiki. And I'm Keisha. And, and we, we are Super Mom DIY. DIY. All right, so this is the DIY curtain rods video um, tutorial. So if you've ever needed something longer than the standard length curtain rods, you know it does get really pricey. And I need curtain rods for my patio. So this tutorial is going to show you how to make um, curtain rods for any length that you need. Stay tuned. All right, so you'll need a marking pencil or pen, and you will need your uh, measuring tape. Um, you will also need a levels because you want to make sure that your curtain rod is going to be level and then you're going to purchase enough electrical conduit pipe to cover the length that you're going to need for your curtain rod. And if you want to spray paint this first before you start your project. Um, you also will need a pipe cutter. So I happen to find this in the drawer, but it's easy to cut the pipe with that. And then these are the rubber ends I'm going to use. Additionally, you will need screw hooks um, in order to have something to hang your curtain rod on and make sure the curve is the right diameter to fit your electrical conduit pipe. And then for however many corners you're going to be connecting, um, then you will need that number of corner connectors. Again, you see that's a half inch because I do have half inch um, electrical conduit pipe. These are sold separately. And again, you can spray paint all of these if you don't want that industrial metal metal look. Also, I have half inch coupling so that I can attach uh, lengths of electrical conduit pipe. So all total, I actually spent $30.81 on these materials, except for the tools I already had. Um, I bought some spray paint in here, which is $10, which is not included in this project. But totally if you've ever looked for custom curtain rods you know that spending thirty dollars and eighty one cent is awesome now what's not included in that are the clip rings i'm going to use to hang my curtains so what you're going to do is find the length mark it on your conduit pipe and use your uh pipe cutter in order to score and then cut your pipe and then it'll break once you get all the way through so you see it's broken here. Now where I have the longest wall of my patio and I need more than the standard length of electrical conduit pipe, then I'm going to attach two linear uh two yeah, linear lengths of my conduit pipe by using the coupling. Attach it to one end, tighten the screw, and then attach the other end and tighten that screw. Now to add the corner sections. So uh, just add it to the end and tighten the screw on the top to make sure it's secure. Next up, I have my S hooks. And this is what I'm going to use to hang my rods. So on my longest wall, I'm going to end up putting four. And you can decide how far apart you want to put them, but just making sure you have enough to support the length of your rod and so that you don't have any bowing with the weight of your curtain. Now you'll just screw them into the wall. You do have to use a lot of pressure, especially if you have solid wood here. If not, you can drill a hole and then screw them in. And once I get that done, now you see my screw hooks in place, ready for me to hang. So you just sit your rod up on top and then set it down so that it falls in the nice little curve of the S hooks. It was really easy, and this is so lightweight and easy for you to do yourself. Here's the finished look of what the corners look like. And here's a little video view to show my completed curtain rod on my patio. Now, if you're going to use this inside the home, which I definitely can recommend, spray paint it to give you a more finished look. Also, you can buy finials to use on the ends if you want a more decorative finish. And here's the done look once I have my curtain hanging up. I used uh, drop cloths um, to hang, and I used those curtain rod uh, hooks, and I'm all set. So, thanks for watching.